With that being said, let's talk about my exterior since it's a topic of conversation for some reason. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel brought the car videos pack we have to spice it up sometimes this is a video that I unfortunately have to make when I posted my weight loss video initially I posted it six months ago I did not expect for it to grow at the rate that it's growing I did not expect my channel to be the successful so fast I've had a lot of questions a lot of comments a lot of people reaching out to me and I love it I love that this is the community I love that we're here to help each other I love helping you guys on your journey however it doesn't matter what I do, I can be the most positive person in the world, but I will still get negativity. I understand when you have a platform, especially when you're giving your opinion and advice and what you should and shouldn't do, there's going to be a lot of controversy to that. A lot of people have seen my weight loss before and after, and one of the comments that I get are, I didn't really need to lose weight. I looked fine before. I was beautiful before. I just want to say that personally did not think I looked good before. I'm not trying to sit here and talk about myself. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because I changed a lot. And even if people think I was attractive before, if they did, if they didn't, it doesn't really matter. To me, I'm trying to show people how to advance spiritually. I'm trying to show people how you can do better for yourself. I explicitly explain that I was unhappy inside, that I was not disciplined, that I ate like crazy. It was just really bad for me. I appreciate the love and I appreciate the compliments, but I was super unhappy before. I was almost suicidal. I was super depressed. I was disabled. I had a lot of things wrong with me. I didn't lose weight for vanity reasons. I mean, I did lose weight for vanity reasons because I wanted to look better, but in its entirety, I just wanted to feel better about myself in general. When you want to feel better about yourself, you will eat better, you will sleep better, you will start working out, you will do self-care things to make you feel better. And once you implement this healthy routine into your lifestyle, it's inevitable for you to lose weight. If you go from a bad diet to a good one, you will naturally lose weight. If you improve your sleep, you will feel better, you will feel more rested. If you drink more water, you will feel more hydrated. It's just stuff that happens. I was not the person who I am today. I am very happy with myself today. I love myself today. I'm very content with where my life is and where I'm going. In the past, I was not happy. I wanted to die. I did not feel like I had a purpose. I did not feel like I was useful for anything. I felt worthless. I did not care about myself at all. I had no idea what self-care was. I was so mentally gone, just emotionally. All of that, I was just not in the right space, which is why I decided to lose weight. I get comments saying that I shouldn't have changed. I was actually prettier before. I don't believe in physical beauty. What I mean by that is you can be the most beautiful, attractive, looking person in the world, but if the inside of you is bad, it means nothing. The change that I made was for me. I did this to make myself happy. This is what I did for me. That's what I keep preaching in all of my videos, that if you are going to change, make sure you're doing it for you and make sure you're becoming healthy because of your actions. My goal was not, I want to be skinny. My goal was I wanted to be healthy. Sure, I wanted to look better, but in my brain, I wanted to feel better, and I knew subconsciously that if I started taking care of myself, I would look better. Whatever is going on with you internally will manifest physically. Looks do not matter to me. They don't. I care about energy and the person that you are. The person that I'm being today, this is my true self. This is who I want to be. This is the image I want to exude to people. Positivity, love, joy, happiness, all of those things. That is what I'm trying to give off. And me as a person, I'm very girly, I'm very creative, and I'm very artistic. I love color, as you can see. I love pink, I love purple, I love vibrancy. I sing, I write, I create videos, I do makeup. I get a lot of comments about the way that I look. I don't care about physical looks. Whatever is going on with inside of yourself will exude 
on your exterior. With that being said, let's talk about my exterior since it's a topic of conversation for some reason. The whole goal of my channel is to spread love, positivity, and inform people. It should not matter what I look like. It should not matter about my appearance. It should only matter about my soul and the information that I'm giving you and what you're taking from that information. A lot of people have a lot of stuff to say about my makeup. Makeup is the way that I express myself. It is my creative outlet. It is therapeutic for me. I don't do it because I want to look good to other people. That is not why I do it. The way that I look with my makeup, when I do the purple, when I do the pink, that is how I look every single day. Even when I'm not filming, even when I don't go out, when I go to work, Anywhere that I go, when I put makeup on, that is how I look. And I do it as a form of self-expression. I love looking at colors and putting an idea together and then seeing it into life. I love the creation part of it. When I usually do my makeup, I am in my room and I'm listening to my favorite songs. It's just a very, very peaceful time for me. It's a way that I meditate. It's a way that I cope. It's an art. It's a way to get out my creativity. In the past, I posted some videos like my What I Eat in a Day video. My older videos, people are commenting on them and being like, your makeup looks really bad. Your Whatever. For example, my What I Eat in a Day video, I had on an extreme amount of makeup. I agree that I had on a lot. Well... There's a reason for that. On the day that I filmed the What I Eat in a Day video, I was filming my music video for my song Needy. You are a makeup artist or a hairstylist. You would know that when you are shooting any type of music video, if you have a wedding, if you have a special event, you need to do your makeup in a certain way so that it looks good on camera, especially with a professional camera. You're going to exaggerate things more. Things don't look the same on camera as they do in real life. The day that I filmed that video, I had just bought a ring light. On top of that, I just got done with the photo shoot and that video shoot. I had to exaggerate my makeup on that day. And because I want to kill two birds with one stone, I went ahead and I filmed a YouTube video on top of that because I was already glammed up. I believe my What I Eat in a Day video was like my third or fourth video that I put out. I just started my YouTube channel. I was not prepared to even film on that day. The lighting was super bad and my makeup was very, very heavy. I don't wear makeup because I'm insecure. I love myself. I'm not trying to hide anything. I love myself without makeup on. I love myself with no clothes on, clothed. I love myself with makeup on. I love myself in my entirety. I am so full of joy and love and happiness. I would not be sitting here preaching to you about self-love if I did not feel that way personally about myself. I am an artist. When I put makeup on my face, it is an outlet for me. It's not a beauty thing. I don't care about looks ever. I could literally have on clown makeup. It shouldn't matter. It should not matter. You should appreciate me for the soul that I am and the wisdom that I'm trying to help you guys with. I don't care if you prefer natural, if you prefer no makeup, if I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. This is the way that I express myself. If I am here trying to help people, uplift people, and inform people, why should it matter what I look like? I could be the ugliest person in the world, but if I'm sitting here having a good intention and trying to uplift others, my physical look should never ever matter. When we die, our looks will never ever matter because we are spirits. Our physical body is just here so we can physically walk this realm that we're in right now. It means nothing when we die. I could have on clown makeup, but if you're blind, would it matter? No. It doesn't matter. It only matters if you make it matter, and the physical does not matter. That is what my whole channel is about. I'm trying to teach people that it's about what's inside of yourself and the way that you think, things that you can't see. It does not matter. The physical does not matter. The physical is an illusion so you can be tangible with this world, so you can create with it. There are a lot of people out there who do outlandish makeup or very vibrant makeup. I'm not the only person. There are people, literally Glozelle used to wear green lipstick and she had millions of followers. People either tell me, I'm too thin, I do this, I do that, it doesn't matter. 
I only do what makes me happy. I only do what I feel like. I don't listen to judgment. I don't listen to the negativity. It will never ever affect me ever again in my life. I'm trying to teach people how to be happy, how to not judge. You should never judge anyone, anybody, ever. God never judges us. So who are we to judge other people for what they do, how they live their life, and the way that they look? If God himself does not judge me, why would I care about what you have to say that's negative? If you do not like the way I look, you can simply just not watch because I love myself and I'm very content with who I am. And my only goal here is to love on other people and help you guys with your journeys. That is the only reason why I'm here. So there's no reason to attack someone who is just trying to help other people. I am so full of love and joy and happiness. Nothing can ever bring me down. I have a goal here, and my goal is to help and love other people. That is the only thing that I want to do. So whatever anyone says, it doesn't matter to me, if it's negative, of course. I will continue being myself. I will continue loving others. When you're transforming, there are a lot of people who feel like their judgments matter. They don't. Whatever makes you happy, whatever makes you feel healthy inside, if you're doing stuff that uplifts other people, helps other people, you're doing good for yourself and good for others, what other people have to say should never ever matter. Ever. In life. I cannot stress this enough because I used to be a people pleaser. I used to be like, please like me, please. I don't care anymore because I like me and that's all that matters. People's opinion of you should never matter. The only thing that should ever matter is the way that you view yourself and the way that you feel about yourself. It does not matter what other people think. If you look at me, you can see that I'm healthy and happy. So why should anything else matter? I obviously learned how to film better. I learned how to set up my lighting. I learned how the settings work on my camera. So now when I film, it looks better. Okay, I learned from my mistake. It was my second video. If God doesn't judge me, who are you to judge me? Don't let people hurt you, talk bad about you, make you feel less than because you are so important and you are lovable and you deserve to be cherished and happy and safe and comfortable in the skin that you're in, the way that you look, and the way that you want to express yourself. Hate and negativity should have no power in the... Listen, I just got out of church. <laughs> no, but seriously, the way that people see you should never matter. Continue being sweet. Continue loving on others. Continue doing better for yourself. Trying to go within. Gain knowledge. That is what is going to make you successful. Not hate. Not negativity. None of that. None of that. Rebuke it. Say you don't have any power. I don't believe this. And with that being said... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, I just felt like I had to explain that because I am dealing with myself, my body, my image online, and I am dealing with a lot of people looking at me. I love myself. I love who I am, and I'm very proud of everything that I accomplished. There's nothing that anyone can say or do that could ever take that away from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Love you, and I'll see you in the next one.